back in Beijing with the first of three of the Chinese pairs. This is Peng Cheng and Jin Yang. Again, they were just paired together last spring. Their first Grand Prix. And they will skate to I Will Wait For You, music from the Umbrellas of Cherbourg. They're in third place after the short program, but just over two points behind their former partners who are in first. So unique off the bat to see them skating opposite directions to open a program. We're not sure how he did, <laughs> but she landed hers beautifully. <laughs> That's something you have to do as a pair team, though, is kind of challenge those preconceived notions of how you're going to skate into an element. Step out from her, him doing a single jump to fill that combination jump box. Interesting with this team, note what you haven't seen yet, and that's the triple twist. Speaking of challenging preconceived notions, typically a pair team would open with this element. It's the most explosive thing we'll do, and they saved it for third. It's still a very nice element for them. Chinese teams known for massive throws and they're no exception. So triple sow, great landing. Tracy, I might be biased, but I always find that with pair skating, some of these big tricks are just made for the crescendos in the music, and that really lets the crowd feel the energy of the performance. Especially when they execute the throws the way they're doing with the height and the soft landings. skated with Zhang Hao, was eighth at the Olympics, fourth at the Worlds in 2015, but they dropped to 12th last year. He skated with Yu Zhao Yu and was a two-time world junior champion. So the Chinese Federation not getting the results they were looking from internationally from these two teams and decided to mix things up and 
see where they stood. What do you think on your initial viewing of this team? You know, this is a younger team in comparison. I think this is more a team for the future compared to the leaders after the short program, you and Zhang, but a lot to like from this young Chinese pair. And a tremendous first outing internationally. <laughs> How adorable is that? And it looks like they have a wonderful chemistry, John. They just look really comfortable out there. A, a, a comfort level that, that belies the, the level of experience that they have together. But as you said, they both have a lot of experience, just not together. So as we spoke about earlier, those talents come with them to the new partnership, but it's the mileage and that chemistry that they're looking to build, and, and what a welcoming, safe environment to get to skate at home at this Grand Prix. And I find especially with a new pair, if everything's going well, it's much easier for the chemistry to come together. When you see the, the new team sort of come apart is when there's a mistake. It's knowing how to recover and get back in. Right, and that program is an example of something that I think is safe and somewhat conservative, but that's by design. They're learning to have a comfort level with each other through these dynamic elements, like a triple twist that we saw so late in the program, and this level four, which is the maximum level of difficulty, reverse lasso. But that'll come with time. That personality that we saw, that smile on her face, eventually we'll see that on the landing of this massive throw triple loop that was so big that he almost went airborne when he threw her. But that just comes with time. And like I said earlier, there's no replacement for that. And I agree with you, John. I think it's a team for the future with a very bright future. Now, remember, it is close at the top, two and a half points separating first and third. And those are very good scores, 128.03. A score that the other teams will have to meet for Peng and Jin of China.